Hey guys, let's talk about Anthony Merrill. Anthony was born on January 18th, 1962, and he's been missing since November 14th, 1971 from Atlanta, Georgia. At the time of his disappearance, he was nine years old, five feet two and 95 pounds. He's an African-American male with black hair and black eyes. Anthony was last seen at his, at his residence in Harris Homes, a now demolished housing project on Sells Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia on November 14, 1971. He lived with his mother, stepfather, and three older siblings and shared a room with his 13-year-old brother. They slept in bunk beds. That night, Anthony went to sleep in the top bunk and his brother slept in the lower one. His brother slept through the night and didn't hear or see anything suspicious. When his brother woke up in the morning, he was gone. There were no indications of a struggle. He has never been heard from again. Despite Anthony's young age, the police initially classified him as a runaway and thought he might have traveled to North Carolina, where he was originally from and where he still has re relatives. His father lived in that state at the time of his disappearance. After they could find no sign of Anthony in North Carolina, authorities changed their minds and said they thought he was still in Atlanta. Anthony's family did not believe he had run away from home. They described him as a normal, happy child who was close to his family, and he had no history of getting into trouble and no reason to run away from home. After his disappearance, his mother changed his bicycle to the front porch and kept the light on constantly in case he decided to come home. According to Anthony's brother, the boy's stepfather, Edward Groves, was violent and had once stabbed their mother. A neighbor reported seeing Anthony getting into Groves' car, but then recanted his statement. Groves has not been named as a suspect in Anthony's case, but Anthony's brother thinks he could have been involved. His brother theorizes that their stepfather sent Anthony to live with Groves' family members, possibly in order to hurt Anthony's mother. The case remains unsolved and Anthony's family hopes he is still alive. If you have any information, please call the Atlanta Police Department at 404-658-6666.